It's August 2nd, 2025, and I've used the Panoptics Pro Lens in about 28 patients to date. And the patients with the Panoptics Pro seem to be seeing well. I can't tell you if it's any better than the original Panoptics, but it seems to be working well and the patients seem to be happy. And if I had to rank today, my preference of the multifocal lenses available in the United States, Envy would be my first choice, the Panoptics Pro would be my second choice, and the Odyssey lens would be my third option. Again, like all videos, I have no financial interest in any of these products. I only receive compensation from patients who come to see me for their eye care or their eye surgery. Now, if you're an ophthalmologist in the United States and use the Monarch 3 cartridge with the Monarch 4 insertion system, you know that this system works very well. It's very safe and very efficient and simple in design. On the other hand, the autonomy system, which is used for the Panoptics Pro lens, it doesn't work quite as well. And I'm going to show you some examples of how the Monarch 4 injector with the Monarch 3 cartridge works compared with the autonomy injector. First, here are two examples of the Monarch 4 injector going through a Monarch 3 cartridge. The lens is inserted into the capsular bag and the leading haptic goes into the eye in a normal backward S configuration and opens normally inside the capsular bag predictably and in a controlled manner. Now, let's talk about the autonomy insertion system. On May 28th, I posted a how-to video on the autonomy insertion system. This was the insertion from that May 28th video. Note that the leading haptic enters the eye in an S configuration, which is actually incorrect. The haptic then rolls off the iris and moves into the preferred backward S configuration in the capsular bag. Now let's look at how the autonomy delivers the Panoptics Pro on four other cases. Here on case number two, the Panoptics Pro again comes out in a backward S configuration, leaving the leading haptic in the incorrect position and it has to be maneuvered to place it into the correct position, which is an unnecessary step in my opinion. Case number three, the leading haptic comes out backwards and pointing toward the capsular bag. And again, we have to maneuver the leading haptic to get it to orient correctly. Example four, incorrect entry again of the leading haptic, which then has to be adjusted using additional time, steps, and materials to rotate it properly. And then the last example is actually one where the autonomy injected the Panoptics Pro in the correct orientation with the leading haptic in a backward S configuration. Sometimes it does work properly. So if I think from first principles, in my opinion, the autonomy system adds materials, expense, time, complexity and inefficiency to the lens insertion process. And in my opinion, the Monarch 4 insertion system is more efficient, safer, and a better design because the best part is no part. The best process is no process. As always, Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.